In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you why edit on release off is a lot better than edit release on. If any of you are on the fence, hopefully this video will help you make the decision on whether you need to switch or not. Also, for those of you that do decide to switch to edit on release off, there will be a little tutorial on how to basically learn edit on release off as quickly as possible. And honestly boys, it's not really as difficult as it may seem. Also boys, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, help me hit 10k by the end of the year. Also, using my credit code is the best way to support me. And depending on what time I upload this, we should be at 2k by now, so thank you boys so much for that. I appreciate you so much, man. Okay, so the reason why you don't want to be using edit on release, what I mean by this is obviously, I don't release you release your finger right now and it would confirm the edit however without edit and release you can basically run all the way down to here pre-aim at this guy's head confirm the edit take a shotgun out and shoot him but with edit and release on you'd confirm it right there and then you'd be around here he can easily just pre-fire you that's how you see people uh, martyrs just pre-fire because of that and even like I've got a guarantee in at least a, when you watch somebody's cash up, they're gonna get at least one pre fire when someone's trying to do a right hand peek. Even when they try and do a window edit, they'd be like right here when they try and do it. Around. I haven't mastered it yet because this is my literally my first time using it almost. I think the I used it for like maybe like a week or something, and then edit and release came out. But yeah, so the main reason is the right hand peaks. You can confirm it when you're right behind the wall, as you can just see that I did, instead of confirming it right here when you're stood over here. This guy can really easily creep by you. There's no reason that you should be confirming it right here when you have it on release on. And then over here. You can obviously wait here, but you have to keep your your crosshair right here. And when you don't have it on release on, when you window peek, you can basically pre-aim at the guy's head. Come on and shoot. Edit on release, you're gonna have to like stay there going for it so it's just better cross the placement will give you better aim it's just very much a worthwhile thing that you need to get used to this is why i switched to it quite recently i think it's probably one of the best things you can switch to to become better at fighting especially if you're already a decent fighter and some you need something to basically make it improve a lot more because i'm not going to try to drag that out for a very long time it's simple as edit and release is better to use for competitive now the rest of this video i'm going to be teaching you how to basically learn it and release as quick as possible and the first section is free building free building will, will be your best friend when trying to learn edit and release and there's literally you're just editing try and do as many edits as possible in given time and try and free build for 30 minutes to an hour depending on how long you actually have on the game per day just do literally Random free builds, random stuff that you normally do when you have it on release on. Make sure that you're doing all of these little edits. Any normal free build, to be honest, will be very helpful when you're trying to learn it on release off. And the first practice map you want to go into is this Raiders box out practice map V3. Let's go through them as slowly as possible at first. Try and get the timing down. This will make it so the next time you free build, it'll be a lot easier. Just go through every single one of these. Do these edit downs as well. These edit downs are pretty good to do as well, just to get the ramp floor edits down. These mongrel wall replaces are so good as well. Make sure when you're doing these, make sure that when you, before you confirm this edit, your crosshairs are already up here. Confirm, every shotgun out. This will be such good muscle memory. This will be more, this will be way better than confirming it down here than having to flick up like this. You already have your crosshair up like that and you ready. Use learning edit and release as a, as like a, a clean slate for you to basically become the best editor possible. So when you go for these crazy edits, you've got the best crosshair placement possible. You got all the best habits possible. So you're already up here when you confirm the edit. Just make sure that you're always behind cover when you're confirming edits. Especially when you start fighting in tournaments and stuff against best players, this will go such a long way. Here's where it gets interesting boys, when you start to learn how to peace control on edit and release off. So it's obviously the same thing as I was saying before. Use this as an opportunity to build the best habits and the best reflexes possible. So when you're in a fight, you're doing the best things possible. 
you're making sure that you're behind cover before you even edit on the player and make sure that before you even finish the edit your crosshairs on the person's head try and go through these as slow as and consistent as possible so when you get faster you'll carry on being as consistent as you were before The next map that I highly recommend is this Xanax 60 Edit and Aimer. It's the one that I showed in my mechanics video. It's probably one of the best maps to actually learn edit and release off. And I'll show you why just in a second. So obviously these ones. But okay, this map is so good because when you when you do this, put your crosshead back here, you can sort of see the thing right in between. Get it ready to shoot at the at the target. So you wanna be basically putting your crosshair in the most optimal position to hit the target and for this one obviously you run down to here put your crosshair in the most optimal position to hit the target and you go for it normally with edit and release you'd be up here you have to go down like that but with this with this you can just go all the way down to here after you want to load into your own free building map whichever one you want it doesn't matter you can be a one v one map or anything and just free build again and this time instead of free building just random stuff you want to be doing drills the drills that will help you the most are going to be these wall ramp edits that's what i struggle with the most right now is these wall edits and again go through slowly and you'll get faster and faster did enjoy the video boys don't forget to like comment subscribe use my credit code in the item shop and peace